Do you have a sales prevention department? Hi, it's Rocky Tapscott here from Local Web Solutions. And in this video, I want to ask you an important question. Do you have a sales prevention department in your business? In every business, there are things that happen every day that stop your customers from buying from you. I'll give you a good example of one I found this morning. The windscreen wipers on my car stopped working a couple of days ago. And I rang one of our local auto electricians and asked him could I bring it in and get him to have a look at it because it's been raining and I didn't want to have to drive the car without wipers. So he said to bring it in this morning. I took it in there. He had a look at it and he would have worked on the car in between other people coming in and buying things from him for a total of about 30 seconds. And all it was was something was loose. He fixed it up and he said, there you go. And I said, how much do I owe you? And he said, oh, 20 bucks will be fine. Now, the first thing that went through my head was, you've got to be dreaming. The next thing that I went through my head was, I won't be coming back. And the third thing was, I'll never be referring anyone to you. Now you may be sitting there thinking, yeah, well, I don't work for nothing either. But here's the problem. If he had said to me, don't worry about it, which is what I do for a lot of people, I would have felt obligated to either go to him next time I needed some auto electrical work done, or mention him to my friends about the great experience that I had and if they mention they need some auto electrics done, I would have sent them there for free. So while he made $20 for 30 seconds work this morning, he's probably going to lose hundreds and potentially thousands of dollars because I'm not going to ever go back there because I have this bad taste in my mouth now and I'm never going to refer anyone to him because I feel like he did the wrong thing by me. Now this is a classic example of what Dan Kennedy refers to as the sales prevention department. A little thing that upsets your customers that stops them from buying from you either at the time or stops them from coming back. And even worse, it stops them from referring friends and business associates to you, which could really help to grow your business. So how does this apply to you and how can you use this in your business? When someone comes in, if you do a small little job for them, is there a way that you can give that away for either free or a very low price to build up some reciprocity? and get them to come back and refer their friends to you. Now I'm not saying you have to give away your premium services, but are there little things you do for people that you're now charging for that you could just give away as part of a strategy for building up long-term customer relationships? Again, thinking about Dan Kennedy, who's one of the greatest marketers alive, he always used to say, there ain't no such thing as free, especially with me, but he gives away a lot of stuff for free, which gets people in the door and then he sells them premium products, coaching services, information products, and a whole range of other things on the back end. So, is there a way you can do the same thing? And are there any other examples of a sales prevention department in your business? If there are, you probably should be systematically going through your business and removing them all, because it's going to help you make a lot more money, help you get and keep a lot more customers, and you'll have a lot more fun. I'm Rocky Tapscott, and I hope you found this video helpful.